In the last couple of years, Kyiv has become a city of murals. After the events of the Maidan Revolution, both local and foreign painters have descended to the capital and changed the way it looks. As a result, Ukrainian landscapes, historic figures and patriotic scenes have sprung up on the buildings, giving the city a unique and alluring personality. Very few locals actually know the exact number of the paintings. One man, however, tries to keep track of each and every one of them in his own amusing way. Ukrainian aspiring showmen take selfies with the murals in the background. Igor Pryshevkin started doing this last August. So far he has 59 photos in his collection and counting. One day it occurred to me, how many murals in Kiev do I even know? On my way from home to work, I only observed maybe 5% of them. So I wanted to see them all. And I thought, simply taking photos with them, for me, a showman, it wouldn't be enough. In his selfies, Igor poses with different equipment, trying to complement the messages in the murals. The composition in each photo is different, of course. Igor says, thinking about ideas for the selfies takes hours. This is my response to the themes, or even extension, because sometimes I don't even know the right answer. So I can only add some other thought to the mural, some idea that the author perhaps didn't even mean. We can stand looking at the murals for hours and still find something new. While Yegor doesn't want to raid the murals, he says the paintings add certain charm to the city. Some people, though, have a somewhat different opinion. Svetlana Zinoviva is a producer of a movie called Contours. It depicts the state of the street art in Kyiv in Mariupol, as well as the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula. Svetlana is strongly convinced the images often contradict the personal views of the locals. She also calls the murals shady schemes between the authors and the authorities. I believe it's some sort of a secret deal with the local authorities, with those who hand out permissions with sponsors. I think the city authorities have some kind of dividends or something else out of these deals. In the end, to paint a picture on a decrepit building is probably cheaper than bring the place to order. At the same time, Svetlana says she is not opposed to every mural in the city. She even has her own favorite, an image of Sergei Nigoyan, a Euromaidan activist, was shot and killed during the revolution.